Okay, so today I'm going to explain how we convert between fractions, decimals, and percentages. So here we have our fraction, here we have our decimal, and here we have our percentage. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to convert from percentages to fractions. Now, the most important thing to remember is a percentage is always out of 100. If you remember this, then changing percentages to fractions is very, very easy. So, for example, 37% is the same as 37 out of 100. And it's as simple as that, really. For 64, it's 64 over 100. However, this time, we can cancel our fraction down because 64 and 100, they're both even numbers, right? So we can simplify this further. So this could go to 32 over 50 because we divide by 2. We can then do this again, can't we? And that's going to give us 16 over 25. If we have a decimal in our percentage, then it's still the same thing, 42.9 out of 100. But we don't normally have decimals in a fraction. So what we want to do is times this by 10, and times the bottom by 10 because that's going to give us a whole number on the top so we'd have 429 over 1000 and so that's how we change percentages to fractions so just remember to always put it over 100 next to convert percentages to decimals we do the same sort of thing that we was doing before with <laughs> converting them to fractions so 3% is the same as 3 out of 100 now, this is also the same as saying 3 divided by 100. And to do 3 divided by 100, we have the number, let's do it over here, let's have the number 3. And then we take the decimal point and we move it back once and twice. So our answer is going to be 0 0.03. So that will be our decimal. For 35%. It's the same as 35 over 100. And that's the same as 35 divided by 100. And if, if we do the same thing, we take the number 35, move the decimal point back once, and twice. So our answer would be 0 0.35. And lastly, we do the same thing again. 65.7 over 100. That's the same as saying 65.7 divided by 100. So we write our number out, 65.7, and we move the decimal point once and twice. So the decimal point now ends up over here. So our new number is 0 0.657. And that there is how we convert percentages to decimals. Okay, so next, we're going to change fractions to percentages. So we already know that a percentage is out of 100. So why don't we make these fractions out of 100? So to get from 20 to 100, we have to times by 5. So we'll do exactly the same to the top. So 7 times 5 is 35. Now, 35 out of 100 is the same as 35%. 40 is a little bit more difficult, so we can't get to 100 straight away. So why don't we get to 200? So from 40 to 200, we have to times by 5. So do the same to the top, we'll times by 5. So 3 times 5 gives us 15. Then we can move to 100 after that. So now, to get from 200 to 100, we have to divide by 2. So we'll do the same to the top. So 15 divided by 2 is 7.5. So that's going to equal 7.5%. Now, for fractions like 7 over 8, we can't change this 8 to 100. 
so for that we're going to have to actually do some division so this is the same as saying 7 divided by 8 so does 8 go into 7? no it doesn't so we need a 0 here I'm going to put a point and a point here carry on our line a bit so now does 8 go into 70? yes it does because 8 times 8 is 64 and then we have a remainder of 6 right next we need to see if 8 goes into 60 and we know that 7 times 8 is 56 and then there's a remainder of 4 does 8 go into 40? yes it does it goes in 5 times exactly so now we've got a decimal which is 0 0.875 now, to change that to a percentage, all we have to do is times it by 100. So our decimal point is going to move two spaces, one, two. So it's going to be 87.5%. And that there is how we change fractions to percentages. Now, to change fractions to decimals. So this is quite an easy fraction to change, 3 over 10. Because it's the same as saying 3 divided by 10. And we know that to get 3 divided by 10, we have the number 3, the decimal point is there, we move it back once. So it's now there. So that's going to give us 0 0.3. Now for 4 over 25, what we could do is why don't we make the bottom number 100? So let's do that and see what we get. So to get from 25 to 100, we have to times by 4. So let's do the same to the top. And that's going to equal 16. So now this is the same as saying 16 divided by 100. Now we just have our 16. Here's our decimal point. We go back once and twice because we're dividing by 100. So our final answer is going to be 0. 1, 6. So from the first two examples we can see that if we have a fraction over 10 or over 100 then it's a lot easier to make our decimals because we can divide by a 10 and a 100. So that's quite easy but what about where we do not have a number on the bottom which could change to either 10 or 100? So we have here 5 over 8. So for that we just have to do the division. So we're going to have 5, and we're going to divide it by 8. So, does 8 go into 5? No, it doesn't. So we put a decimal in, and we put another 0 here. So does 8 go into 50? Yes, it does, because 6 times 8 is 48. And then we need to add 2 on to get 50, so our remainder is 2. Does 8 go into 20? It does, it goes in twice. So 2 times 8 is 16, and we've got a remainder of... Four. and now does 8 go into 40 yes it does it goes in 5 times and there's no remainder so there we have our decimal 0 0.625 and that's how we change fractions to decimals next to change decimals to percentages this is actually very easy because all we have to do is times all of these by 100 and this one as well by 100. So if we times this by 100, our decimal point is going to move once and twice. So it's going to end up here. So our answer would be 75%. Let's then do the same thing for the next one. So we go once and twice. So it ends up here. So our answer is going to be 2%. And then finally, the same thing for the last one once and twice so we're going to have one seven five percent so changing decimals to percentages is very easy all we have to do is times by 100 and the last thing is how to change decimals to fractions so we have a decimal here 0 0.25 so how are we going to change that to a fraction well what we want to do is make this a whole number first so to make this a whole number, I need to move this decimal point here 
and to move it once and twice. So to do that, I need to times my answer by I need to times by one hundred. Because then my decimal point will move once and twice. So that's going to give me twenty five. And because I times by hundred, if I divide this by hundred now, then this will give me zero point two five again, wouldn't it? So here we have our fraction, which is twenty five over hundred. Now we need to simplify it. So if we divided the top by 25 and the bottom by 25, then 25 divided by 25 is just 1, and 100 divided by 25 is 4. So we end up with 1 quarter. For 0 0.92, we do the same thing. We have to times by 100 to get a whole number. So that's going to give us... 92 over 100. Now we can cancel this down again further. So we're going to get 46 over 50. We can then cancel it again, can't we? To 23 over 25. For the last decimal, 0 0.005, we have to do something a little bit different. Because if we times by 100, our decimal point will go from here once and twice. So we'll end up with a number 0 0.5. But we want to make it a whole number. So to do that, we're going to need to times by 1,000. So it goes once, twice, three times. So here we have 5 over 1,000. And then if we divide the top by 5 and divide the bottom by 5, then 5 divided by 5 is just 1. And 1,000 divided by 5 is 200. So that there is our final answer. So now here's some practice questions for you to have a go at. And I will release the answers in the next video, which will be titled Changing Between Fractions and Decimals and Percentages, Practice Questions and Answers. Good luck and see you soon.